Hi everyone! Hi everyone! <laughs> uh, I brought today a special guest, Andrea. He is one of our students. How long yes. have you been here, Andrea? Uh, I've been here for seven weeks. Wow. Uh, it was a very, uh, a very amazing experience for me. Yeah? Yes. And tell me, you've been in my class a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's my favorite homework? Uh, your favorite homework, and for example, when you find a word that uh, you don't know the, the meaning really well, you have to search it on the vocabulary and to, you have to find some synonyms and... Mm -hmm. and Antonyms? Antonyms, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, later you have to make a sentence with this, uh, with this word. Uh, my first language is uh, Italian. I came from Italy and from Florence. Yeah. And it was amazing to learn English in Malta. <laughs> I was so happy. Yes. So tell me, uh, this is your word. Yes. Do you use a dictionary to translate into Italian? No, never. I, um, uh, you don't have never to try to translate in your language because the English will become easier for you when you start to think in English. You don't have never to translate for me. Well done. Okay, so shall we explain your words? Do yes. you want to go ahead? Uh, the word that I have chosen is development and the synonyms of development could be evolution and progress and the antonym is regress and decline. Very and the good. sentence that I choose for this word is I'm happy with my development over the past seven weeks. Very nice, Andrea. Tell me uh, about your sentence. Do you copy this from the internet or is this your own work? No, it's, it's my own work. I decide to make this sentence by myself. Very good. But these you can find on a dictionary? Yeah, you can find it on the dictionary or on the internet but not on Google Translate. Perfect. Andrea, thank you very much for being on our video. Yeah, thank you too. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. <laughs>